Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. This is Fazan Ahmed. Uh, this is this channel about the bitcoins, and this is the second lecture of our topic. So, as we discussed, bitcoin uses peer-to-peer -peer technology to operate with no central authority or banks. Many transaction and the issuing of bitcoin is carried out collectively by the network. It means that bitcoin is open source. Its design is public. Nobody owns or controls bitcoins, and everyone can take part. So many of its unique properties. Basically, Bitcoin allows existing uses that could not be covered by any previous payment system. It's Bitcoin is different than what you know and you use every day. Before you start using using Bitcoins, there are few things that you need to know in order to use it securely and avoid common pitfalls. So let's continue it. So, there is an introduction. Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency that was introduced in 2009 by an anonymous person or group of people using the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. It operates on a technology called blockchain, which is a distributed ledger that records all the transactions made with Bitcoin. So, in last lecture, we, we was discussed discussed that. Uh, decentralized, what is decentralization, what is blockchain technology, what is limited supply, what is mining and what is divisibility. And in this lecture, we will cover these five points. Security, global accessibility, volatility, use cases, art coins and tokens. So, here is our first point. What is security? Security is to secure your uh, money, your house, and anything you want to secure. Bitcoin employs crypto techniques to secure transactions and control the creation of new units. Users have a private key that allows them to access their Bitcoin holding and make transactions. It is essential to keep this key secure to prevent unauthorized access. And the second key point of this lecture is global accessibility bitcoin is accessible to anyone with an internet connection regardless of their location this feature has made it popular and region with limited access to transact traditional banking services our third point is volatility what is volatility bitcoin's price can be highly volatile experiencing significant price fluctuations over short periods this volatility is attributed to factors such as market demand. The second last part of our, this lecture is use cases. Bitcoin has various use cases. It can be used as a store of value, a medium of exchange, or a special investment. Some merchants and businesses accept, accept Bitcoin as a form of payments. And it, ha it has also gained popularity as a hedge against traditional finances system. The last point of this lecture is altcoins and tokens. Basically, Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency. And since its inception, numerous other cryptocurrencies, often referred to as altcoins, have been created. Additionally, blockchain Platforms such as Ethereum allow the creation of tokens that operate on their network. So, here is our lecture ended. Uh, please like and follow our channel.